I want to show you a deal in process today with a VA client, how we're getting them a chunk of their earnest money deposit back, and we're getting them an interest rate starting with a three using a temporary buy down. We've got a purchase price of 573,000. That is list price for this specific property. Instead of going in asking for a cheaper purchase price, this agent went in asking for a credit. So essentially still reducing the bottom line of the seller, but much more advantageous of us having credit for our buyer. Now, how we're putting that seller credit to work is using what is called a temporary buy down. In this case, a two one buy down, meaning we are taking the $15,000 of credit and utilizing $12,453 of that to buy down their rate temporarily. As you can see in year one, the rate is going to be 2% lower than what they're currently locked at. At month 13, the rate will increase 1%. For year three through 30, it's gonna to come to the note rate of 5.625 in this scenario. This is gonna make it a lot easier on our buyers for the first two years, saving $685 the first year and $352 respectively for the second year. And this is how they're getting a piece of their EMD back as part of closing, is the borrowers had to put a little over 1% down. You see that $6,000 figure here. They did have to pay just a little bit in points for that uh, awesome 5.625 starting rate. Um, but there was so much seller credit left over after the buy down cost and these borrowers are not escrowing taxes and insurance. So that helped big time with prepaids. So they're getting almost $2,000 back of that initial 6,000 they put in. Awesome deal. Now here's the key with the temporary buy down that really makes this make sense. If the buyer is to refinance this loan when they become eligible. In this case, a VA loan, they're gonna be eligible after 210 days or basically seven months. If they refinance it before the two years of buy down time period are up, any remaining balance left over of that $12,453 will be applied to the principal balance of the loan they're paying off. In other words, you're not losing the money. The bottom line with this is, does it always work for every scenario? No. Is everybody gonna have an opportunity to do this? No, there are lenders out there that allow for buyer slash lender funded buy down programs, but they're not nearly as advantageous as using just straight seller funded, which this is the case here. Keep in mind, this is a VA purchase putting 0% down. There is no VA funding fee for this borrower, and they have chosen not to escrow their taxes and insurance so that Monthly payment figure is only the principal and interest. They will be qualifying with the total monthly payment and off of the note rate of 5.625 in this scenario. So these are not the option arms of old interest only. These are not loans to get people in trouble of qualifying them off of lower payments or even just in this scenario, what a big misconception is, throwing money away if you don't use it. If you think a temporary buy down situation might work for you, go ahead and reach out. We can run your specific scenarios and give you a video breakdown of your own.